Hello, crafty friends, and welcome back to the Design Bundles YouTube channel. I am so excited for today because I'm gonna be showing you how you can do your entire workflow, whether you're creating SVGs and editing them, creating sublimation files, creating sticker files, and so much more using tools that you get included with your Plus membership. So first I'm gonna show you how you can generate files using Illustrate AI, and then we're gonna edit them in Craft Designer. I'm gonna show you both Pixel Mode, which is made for creating sublimation files, stickers, print and cut files. And I'm gonna show you Vector Mode, which is used for making SVG cut files that are perfect for your Cricut machine, Silhouette machine, or even your laser cutter. A lot of people know us here at Design Bundles for our massive plus library of files, which has over two and a half million files in it and more added every single day. But you don't realize all the tools and software you get included in your plus membership. And that's actually my favorite part of plus membership. So I'm so excited to dive into it today just to show you what all it can do. Okay, so let's sit down at the desk and let me show you what all you can do in Illustrate AI and Craft Design. Okay, so to be able to access the tools that we're gonna play with today, you need to have an unlimited plus membership. So what I recommend if you don't currently have one is to sign up for our free trial. You can do a free trial for seven days. And if you don't want it after those seven days, you can just go in and cancel and your card will never get charged. But I highly, highly recommend doing that seven day free trial so you can try out Illustrate AI, you can try out Craft Designer, you can explore the plus library and all the other benefits you get with plus membership and see if it's the right fit for you. So if you haven't done that, stop this video, go sign up for the seven day free trial so you can play along with me as I show you how to make some stickers using Illustrate AI and Craft Designer. Okay, so here we are, I'm logged in, I'm on my homepage. I'm gonna go to Illustrate AI right here. There's some new stuff in Craft Designer too that I definitely wanna show you. So stick around till the end of this video because I'm gonna show you the newest update to Craft Designer, which is Easy Edit SVG. It is so cool, you don't wanna miss it. So make sure you hang around till the end so you can see that part too. But here we are in Illustrate AI. So I'm gonna click Start Creating. If you weren't ready, you could scroll down and kind of see what other people have created using Illustrate AI. It's really cool. It's a super robust system for generating crafting images and it's made by crafters for crafters. So this is not your mother's AI image generator. It really is made with crafters needs in mind and it shows when you generate files. So that part I think is super cool. Okay, <laughs> here's a cat that I created last time I was doing this, but we're gonna do something different. We're gonna create a sticker and I want it to be um, like a retro cartoon potted plant waving hello and wearing sunglasses. I have no idea what that's gonna give us, but we're gonna try. Um, if you've never used Illustrate AI before, you put your prompt right here. You can also AI enhance your prompt if you want it to add in some adjectives. You can also do suggested prompts. You can um, use these three separate engines down here. You can use the native Illustrate AI engine if you want, and when you do that, it gives you more options for the art style you can choose. These are super fun to play with because it gives you such a wide variety. Like you could make everything a coloring book style. You could make everything ink fusion, low poly. You could make everything vector T style. It's really fun just to play with these. Um, and you can also generate multiple images at a time if you wanna have several options to choose from. I also love that you can select which orientation you want it to come out in. So like if I was making a tumbler wrap and trying to generate an image for that, I might choose landscape because it's gonna have to wrap around. So that's something fun that you can do right here in the software too, that is definitely made with crafting in mind because certain crafts require different orientations for your image. So I love that that is native to the software. I also would recommend if you're not getting exactly the result you want, try some different engines because the different engines um, excel in different areas. Like Flux excels at really realistic images. Illustrate AI gives you the most native options because it's the native engine to the platform. So I highly recommend kind of playing with it as I do with everything. But we're gonna use the Dolly engine and just see what it gives us. And we're gonna do it in we're just gonna do our, we're just gonna do the default style. Uh, we're not gonna change it at all. And let's just see what it gives us and then we may play with it in a different style and see if it gives us something better. <laughs> I 
Okay, this is really cool. So this is a cool start. I really like it. It's exactly the vibe that I was going for. It's just not the exact plant that I was going for. So let's just switch over to the flux engine and see if it gives us something completely different. I like it, but I don't like the hands. They look too human. <laughs> I don't like that at all, actually. Let's try the native Illustrate AI engine and see what it gives us. We're gonna have it generate two images also. And all of this is just on the default art style. We haven't played with that at all yet. We might not play with it at all in this one, but we have other videos on our channel where we do play with that. So if you haven't checked out the other videos on our channel, I highly recommend doing so. And if you're enjoying this video, don't forget to like and subscribe because it really helps us out. Okay, Illustrate AI gave us something totally different. I actually think this one is really cute. I just don't love how he's like peeking out. So we're, I think my favorite of the three was the Flux engine. So we're just gonna try that one again and see if it gives us something better. If not, we'll go back to this first one and just use that one because it's pretty cute. Oh, that one's cute. Look at him. <laughs> okay, I like this one, so we're gonna use this one. What I love about Illustrate AI, among many things, is that it goes straight into Craft Designer. So this workflow is super simple and super organic. So I'm just gonna click Edit, and we're gonna open it directly in Craft Designer. And when you enter Craft Designer, you can see that you can play in Pixel Mode or you can play in Vector Mode. So we're gonna look at Vector Mode at the end of this video when we talk about Easy Edit SVG. But right now we're gonna use pixel mode because we're pretending to make a sticker. So pixel mode is reserved for print and cut, sublimation, stickers, anything that generates a flat image that is full color. Vector mode is reserved for true cutting file vectors. So that would be if you wanted to make a cut file for your Cricut or a cut file for your laser cutting machine, your silhouette, et cetera, et cetera. So, we're gonna do pixel mode for now since we're doing stickers. This is also the perfect mode to use if you're planning to make DTF sheets. Okay, so here it is in pixel mode. The first thing I wanna do is remove the background. So I'm gonna to go to extra and select remove background and it's gonna go ahead and take it away because we're making a sticker. Perfect. So now I want it to have a little bit of an outline like a sticker does. So we're gonna go back to extra and we're gonna go to Sticker Maker right here at the top. I'm gonna make it a little bit thicker and I want it to be white. Okay, so that is perfect for our sticker. Now I just wanna add some text. So I'm gonna go to the text right here. I'm gonna pick a font that I like. I really like this one. And then I'm gonna select Add Text. And now we're just gonna make it say, Stay Cool. And we can change the color of that text. We can give that text an outline if we want to. We could also change the line height and separate those lines a little bit if we wanted to. We could change the letter spacing. We can change the font size. We can give it bend if we want. There's so much you can do with the text editor in here. Everything that you would expect in a nice SVG editor, it's right here. I also love the included fonts. They are pulled straight from the Plus library. So it's cool that you can just pull them directly in and you can edit from here too. I could choose any of these other fonts, kind of look at what they would look like in the different styles. You can also pull in elements from the Plus library right here from the library spot, which is really neat. So if I wanted to add like, let's see, what would I want to add? Ugh, so many options, like this guy maybe. I'll probably get rid of this in just a second, but I'm just showing you what you could do. So I could add in this little guy and then I can go to my layers panel and drag it to the back. Actually, I love it. I wanna give it an outline so that it matches the rest of the sticker. And then we could even move our text if we wanted to. Maybe we want our text to be split up now. And now I don't like that outline color anymore. <laughs> so we're gonna pick a new outline color. We're gonna outline in this like bright blue. Much cooler. You could also come in and do some magic fill, which is AI generated like filling in the photo. You could also use masking tools, just like in Cricut Design Space. And you can also do magic extend, which is a really cool way to pan out your images. So here's our sticker. The sticker is done. Now I could download this as a PNG or a JPEG. I can custom size it. I can save it, I can download it. When you save it, it goes to your projects, which is really cool. You could create your own little library of projects you've created and save them for later. And you can also download it directly to your computer, which is super nice. 
Now, I promised you that I would show you our brand new feature in Craft Designer that is so stinking cool. It's easy edit SVG and it's template based SVG creation. So let me show it to you really quick. And in this part of the video, we're also gonna get to explore vector mode in Craft Designer. So let's hop over. Okay, so if I go to the Plus library as an Unlimited Plus member, there's a new little button right next to Plus products called Easy Edits. And I love Easy Edits. I think it's one of the coolest things we've come up with because it is template-based SVG creation. So if creating your own SVGs has been kind of scary for you or you're just getting started and you don't know where to start, this is where you start because these are pre-created templates that you can very easily manipulate, customize to whatever you want. And there are so many of them and there's new ones added every single day. So let's go in. I'm going to pick this one. This kind of looks like my dog a little bit, except my dog is much fluffier than this. So we'll just pick this one. And when you open it, it's going to open it in craft designer. So it opens it in vector mode of craft designer, which by the way, earlier you saw when we could choose between vector and pixel mode, you can also start from scratch in vector mode. You don't have to start from a template. We just are today. So I can show you easy edits. So we've got our template pulled in. And now the first thing I could do, would be, let's look at our layer here. So I could change the fill of my background here if I wanted to change the color of it, like maybe I want it to be pink. And then I can also change the text super easily. So my dog's name is Dolly Parton Lambert, so we'll do Dolly Parton. I could also come right in here to text and quickly change the font if I wanted to. I can change the color of it very easily. I can give it an outline. I can give my text bend if I want to. There's endless things you could do just with a few clicks that make this template your own. But then if you wanna get crazy and you wanna like make it even more extra, you still have access to all of the normal editing tools in Easy Edits. So maybe I want to come in and I wanna give um, like an outline to this. I don't want it to just be flat. So I could come in and give it an offset if I want to. And I can also come in and add additional elements from the library if I want to. So I could upload my own elements to use, or I could use elements that are already here in the library to make this even more robust. So she's got some flowers. So maybe we want to add some additional flowers here. So maybe one here and then let's duplicate it, put some flowers here. I can come into my layers panel and drag this to the back. I can change the colors on these guys. And I'm just kind of playing with it until I get it how I want it. And I could continue adding to this. I could continue playing with it. I could add even more text if I wanted to. You can also do several features you might be familiar with from Cricut Design Space or Silhouette Studio, like Intersect, Exclude, Unite. Um, you might be familiar more with like Merge, Weld. Um, what do they call their uh, knockout? What do they call knockout? Oh, that's killing me. If you know, type it in the comments and help us all out, but you can also do knockout. So you can do all those kinds of things right here in craft designer in vector mode, all the things you're used to, but now it's just all in a one-stop shop. And in my opinion, so much easier to use. So I wanted to make sure to show it to you, whether you're just getting started with creating SVGs or creating sublimation files, or you're a seasoned pro, this is a game changer because you can pull things directly from easy edit templates, make them your own, customize them, add onto them. You can work from scratch in vector mode. You can work from scratch or work from an uploaded image in pixel mode. You can generate images in Illustrate AI and then edit them directly in pixel mode. There is so much you can do and it's all in one place. And not only that, you can actually download them to your computer. There is so much you can do and all of it is included in an unlimited plus membership. Okay, friends, that is Illustrate AI and Craft Designer, both included in an Unlimited Plus membership. I hope you loved today's video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. It helps us out so much. And definitely leave a comment below. Let us know what you think about Craft Designer. What do you wanna see in the future for Craft Designer? What do you love about it now? If you already have a Plus membership, let us know what you think of it down below, but we will see you back here next time for more crafting. Until then, happy crafting, Davey Besties.